Apa Kanada? Kerang kisah. Lekar man, lekar. Um, ja, niet, niet in tijd van die besering, uh, voor je nou teruggekomen het. Hallo? Is Ashwak, je line is cut. Oké, okay. uh, whilst Ashwak works on that, Kovas, um, can we maybe have a yeah, second thanks, start? Uh, Her Harold, ik denk wat uh, Ashwak ook wel gevraagd, het is net oor jou besering, uh, hoe voel je op die oomlik, wat was dit geweest, en um, is jij weer scherp en fiks om te gaan? Hoi Kobus, ja, um, baie rankie man, ja, die, uh, ek het een klein, klein nigo gehad met my voet, um, met, uh, met my plantar fascia, maar op die oomlik is het 110% recht, so ja, ek, um, ek sien uit, is weer fiks en, en recht om te speel. En ek in termen van uh, David Kriel wat 12 gespeeld het, die plek volgestaan het, hy het baie goed gedoen. Um, as die competitie hou het, uh, hou so'n bykie op jou toon, as jy uit is vir een ruk, en als iemand dat in jou, weet in jou trui speel, en hy, en hy vaar so goed? Ja, verseker. Um, David speel baie, baie goeie rugby, en hy, en hy perform mooi in die span, so ek is baie blij vir hom. En ja, dit het motiveer hou, en hou, 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 hou op, sy, op die toon. Thanks, Luka. Thanks, Kovas. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. I don't know if I was just frozen there. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Errol, just in terms of the Bulls this season, obviously uh, the season is, uh, it was a great start there. You guys must feel a bit more confident despite the, the loss to the Stormers. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the way we train and the way we, we work um, on the field is, is good. And yeah, we, we're just trying to build on on every game of the, every week. So, yeah, never be complacent and just trying to get better all the time. In the time of your rhythm, on your aanval, for all in the achterlijn, you must be very tevreden with this, with this three in your work, good with the forwards. Yeah, for sure. As I said, we work hard on the field, and you have a lot of plans to come, 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 uh, coach Chris ons attack vat, so het is al paar jaar waar jy ouwe saam is, en ek geloof dat speel een groot rol. En wat voel jy, miskien doen jy anders, uh, hierdie, hierdie seizoen wat vir jy die sukses bring, vir, vir al in die achterlijn, ek weet jy het nou paar groot name ook by, uh, vir al uh, ousers wil jy roem, maar ook Keinen en Kutli, wat nou baie ervaring by die wereldbeke ook gekry het, en een paar ander manne ook, uh, wat deel van die spanne was. Ja, definitief, daar um, is baie in, in, individuele wat een verskil maak, maar soos ek sê, ek denk die groe ding is, ons, ons is al saam vir een paar jaar, het hard gewerk in die afseisoen, en, en ja, dit speel een groot rol. Laatstens van my, wat verwacht jy van Bristol, uh, Herald, ons weet die Engelse spanne, hulle is maar dat uh, thai spanne vir al thuis. Ja, verseker, Bristol is een baie goeie span, um, hulle, hulle hou bal baie goed in hand, en hulle is ook lekker visies, so, so dit gaan een lekker game wees, um, ek denk het gaan baie visies wees, en ja, hulle, hulle hou, hou daarvan om met die bal te haar klik. Thanks, Aspak, ek kom eens. Kom eens. Thanks, uh, uh, thanks, Lunga. Um, Hy wil Jake het een paar keer die afgelopen tijd gesê, dat de span aanvallend moet kan speel, maar op die dag in die noorde, en wanneer het koud en nat is, ook tactisch met die voet kan speel. Is dit een van die plekken waar jullie nog moet groei hierdie seizoen, en hoe, hoeveel vordering was dit al nou op zich geweest? Ja, verseker, ek, ek geloof daar is al baie vordering, um, ek bedoel, paar jaar terug was dit die eerste keer dat hy nou in Europa gaan speel het, so, uh, daar is al definitief experience opgebouwd dier die span, in die afgelopen paar jaar, en ja, op die dag sal hy ook maar kyk hoe die weer, wat, wat die weer vir jou bied, en, en maar aanpas wat aangepas moet word. Thanks, Harald. Thanks, Lunga. Thanks, Kovas. Jan die koning. Thanks, Lunga. Harald, ek gaan maar een vraag vir Engels, net omdat ek die, die video achterna dag wil gebruik. Um, so, ek gaan net, uh, net meer praat, die genaak bykie herhaal, wat, ek, wat jy vroeger gesê het. Um, Geen probleem. Laat die vir jy staat, I mean, obviously, jy gaat two games, Bristol this week, and then uh, Bordeaux the week thereafter. Uh, 
How, how do you adjust your approach uh, when you play such contrasting games? I mean, one is in England, the other one is in France, and they play different styles. So how, how do you adjust your approach? Yeah, I think obviously there's quite a lot of depth in the in the team now that's been built up. So um, I feel the coaches do do a bit of rotating, resting some players. Some players are staying behind, not flying. So yeah, I think that definitely makes a makes a big difference in the prep for the next week's game as well. Yeah, um, I, I know also there's this thing about uh, balancing balancing act between the URC and and. Uh, the Champions Cup and, and this this perception perhaps that the African teams struggle away from home in, in the Champions Cup. Uh, what is your feeling about the competitions and, and, and which one do you enjoy most? Uh, to be honest, uh, both competitions is quite tough and um, yeah, that's what we that's what we like. So I feel both competitions are a very high standard of rugby and yeah, that that builds us. Yeah, I, I know with your stint in Japan, you probably wouldn't have played too many English teams. Uh, but what, what's your view of Bristol Bears and the type of game that they bring to the park? Yeah, they they're a very good side. Um, obviously, they they love to keep ball in hand. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, it depends on the weather uh, on the day. Um, might be a bit more kicking, so it's going to be interesting. But looking forward to it. Given that the Bulls also have been. Uh, evolving, for lack of a better word, and, and are playing a bit more expensive this season. Um, how important is the kicking going to come in and will you still stick with that expensive approach? Yeah, like I said, um, the weather will definitely play a role. Um, but I think I think if we can master both expensive and um, kicking game, playing uh, kicking clever and, and, and squeezing them down in their half can, can make a big difference. Thanks, much appreciated. Bye, Donkey. Donkey. Okay, once Kuriso finds his unmute button, uh, Carl, are you covered? No, I want to ask a question. Can you believe it? Thanks, Lunga. Um, how the of the playing surfaces, Bristol's got now a new playing surface also. How much of an influence has the different playing surfaces on your game plan? Still, I mean, do they, that, does it still have an influence of, on your game plan or do you think you're well adapted? No, I think the guys are well adapted. Um, the 4G pitches, they might just play a bit, bit faster. That um, might suit us. So, yeah. I think I believe we we fully have that. Great stuff, thanks. Cool, thanks, Carl. Ati, are you covered? Yeah, no, I can come in. Uh, how's it, Harold? How are you? Fine, thanks yourself. Good. I'm Harold again. Hello. Just looking, um, just looking at these two games that you guys have left within the pool stages. How important is it, you know, to just negotiate your way to the to the knockout stages, you know, looking at in terms of the Bulls want to be a side that is consistently within, um, you know, those places within the knockout stages within the competition? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I believe the Lyon game we could have pulled through and that would have made the, the pool stages a bit different. But obviously, obviously we go there to, to win um, and get, get the four points. And if we're lucky, maybe get, um, get the four points and a bonus point. I mean, the Leon game. How big of a sort of a, a, some sort of like a thing, a, a, a launch pad for you guys to know that you can go away in Europe and perform. How big is how big is that sort of a effect going into this um, game this weekend? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, on that day, the guys performed so well. Um, I feel uh, we were a bit unlucky to not get the the win there. So yeah, it definitely gave us a boost and a bit of confidence. Uh, Harold, you mentioned that there'll be players staying behind probably to prepare for the Bordeaux game and there'll be guys going to to, to, to to England this week. How important is it, you know, to sort of take away that notion of um, fringe players and regulars to make sure that the whole team is together within um, this uh, goal that you guys are chasing this season? Yeah, I think it's mainly the, the spring box that's saying that. Um, obviously, they've played quite a lot of 
rugby the cup uh, last couple of months. So it's it's good for them to rest up as well, and yeah, to to get ready for the next um, few months. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank cool. you. Thanks, Archie. Kudos.